Hello and welcome to Bluebird Lane Creations. My name is Tiffany and it's time to get creative. I want to thank you guys all for returning today. Today is Tuesday, so it's Tuesday Trash Rehash. Yay! Um, <laughs> all right, I'm just trying to make it extra. Trying to make it extra. Um, I want to thank you all my uh, subscribers for returning. I appreciate you guys week after week commenting and, and coming to be part of this uh, journey with me. It's just been a, a delight. Um, I wanted to thank a few uh, new subscribers. Crafty Mama, uh, Leah Cushman, and Joanne Proger. Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy your time here and I hope you guys are inspired. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, now is a great time to do that. Uh, I have a giveaway going on. I'll, I'll say a little bit more about it before I end the video today. And, um, and to get involved in that, you do need to be a subscriber. But I hope that you're subscribing because you enjoy my content. So uh, before we get started today on the trash rehash, um, I have a couple pieces of Happy Mail that I thought I'd open. I haven't even, I haven't opened them at all yet. So um, I'm going to just get a pair of scissors and we're going to open this. This is, um, this particular package is, has to do with a group that I'm in called Junk Journal Junkies, etc. And um, they have almost a, a couple times a year or a few times a year, they have something uh, they have a group of people that just send out random acts of kindness to members of the group. And um, so this was Valentine's and it's called Sweetie Mail. So let's see what uh, what I got in my Sweetie Mail. It's in this fun packaging. So, oh, a delicious box of chocolates. Um, they happen to be my favorite in here, caramel, uh, coconut, chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and vanilla cream. I don't, I'm not sure about the vanilla cream, but the other two, uh, I will definitely be, uh, munching on here shortly. This cute little bag. This is adorable. And this is so great because I can use it next year to gift something to someone else. And there's a little goodie in here. It looks like someone made. Let's make sure. Oh, lost a couple pieces. Okay. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at these. They're chipboard and they're just a really uh, beautiful, kind of like a, it's a pink, but like a mauve maybe. I don't know. It's really a gorgeous pink. Um, I'll put those over there. A little clip with a painted uh, wood rose on there. A little tag it says, will you be mine? Some stickers with little cherubs. Oh, cool. Heart-shaped burlap in red and uh, the traditional burlap color. This is really like a stiff, um, and this one's a little more flexible. Those are super cute. A little, a little Valentine. Adorable. So adorable. We'll just put this back in there for now. Don't want to lose any pieces. Try, try to take a picture and post it in the group. Uh, I'm losing some, got some little loose sequins. We can throw that in my little bowl here. Oh, I see. They're probably were thrown in there for on purpose. <laughs> I don't think they came off of anything. So we've got a little coffee dyed doily with some, I don't know if this is a pipe cleaner or if it was actually a ribbon. A little collaged tag with some sewing stitching on top here. Beautiful. A little bag with the little um, heart candies on it. Oh, I love this. They they did some sort of um, coating on the top here. Maybe, I don't know if it's Mod, Mod Podge or like a clear gesso, but it just feels really cool. A couple more tags with the conversation hearts. This is fun. Oh my word. This is so creative. Holy moly. I'm going to have to really look into how this was done. Um, there's pockets like every direction. So there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. One here. 
and one here. How stinking cool. It's sewed all the way around the edges. I've never seen this before. That's really neat. We might have to uh, be inspired by this and make our own. That's cool. A little uh, guest check with the Valentine's truck on here. This looks like it was maybe off of a napkin and um, use some clear gesso or Mod Podge to get that on there because it, it and they painted it to where it just feels like part of the paper like it was meant to be there. Oh I love it. A couple of heart-shaped coffee stained doilies. Wonderful. That was a wonderful gift. Thank you sweeties, junk journal junkie etc sweeties. You saved my little sequins there and I'll just put this back in that bag for now. I'll take a picture after we're done and post it to the group. I'm going to be eating those chocolates here soon. <laughs> All right, and then this one is also from the Junk Journal Junkies etc. group. I'm going to use my new, um, new handcrafted letter opener on this one that my, my dear new friends Gwen and Denise made me. Well, Denise made it. Uh, Gwen is in a group uh, that I'm in called the Buy Nothing Project, and um, I was requesting a letter opener, and she said that her sister would love to make me one, and so I, I introduced her beautiful art on my channel, uh, kind of highlighting what she did here, but it's just so beautiful, and it worked perfect, Denise. It worked perfect. So let me set that aside, and we'll pull out so this is a, a wall of inspiration um, item. So this will go on my wall of inspiration to keep me motivated if I run out of ideas. So we've got a, a piece of, um, it almost feels like it's thick like chipboard and it's uh, backed with blue and got music note on this side. You could decorate that up. It could be a belly band, it could be a bookmark. i uh, got a couple of those. All right, and then, Let's see how we want to open this. Maybe I, maybe I'll use my letter opener. Now it's got tape. Let's see if we can get a pair of scissors to release the tape. It's hard sometimes because you don't want to cut someone's project, and you just like sometimes it's difficult to see exactly which way to to release it from from the packaging. Oh my word. I'm looking here. This is from Michelle. <clears throat> Michelle has outdone herself. Wow. This is incredible. I don't know what kind of paper this is. It feels like deli paper. It's really slick. Um, there's little Tim Holtz characters on here with some lace, bows, tickets. And I'm I'm assuming she stamped these, but maybe not. Maybe this was part of the original packaging. All right, let's open this and see what, what lies within. My throat feels a little hoarse today. Pardon me. <clears throat> okay, that'll be a little better. So she's made this into an envelope. It's got music sheet behind it, which you can see through. Isn't that great? And she loaded in here, oh, sparkly thread. I love sparkles, and this is amazing. We will definitely use that on our projects. She gave me a little uh, scrap of maybe a clothing or some sort of scarf, and it's got some sequins and beading on there. Well, not beads, that is all sequins, and then a gem in the middle. This um, beautiful, this also looks like maybe it lived its life as a scarf or some sort of material. And it's got this beautiful star. And then a red piece with some polka dots. And it looks like she kind of cut this in a hexagon shape. Cool. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this color of blue. It's like the journal that I'm working on right now. Looks like this is the right side, actually. Little leaves or trees. Um, really pretty. 
So the envelope is likely her inspiration item, which is astonishing. And then, um, oh my word, these are so fun. These are Edgar Allan Poe uh, playing cards with little quotes. Oh, that's cool. I really love those. Um, we use these for like altered playing cards or um, little projects. So that'll be fun. Might even save those for around Halloween. That'd be fun. A little, um, little bag. And then some, some coupons or tickets that are, they're, they're kind of like fatter than normal. I've never even seen this size before. So this is really fun. Little raffle tickets. Green and blue. All right, Michelle, that was amazing. This envelope is just gorgeous. Oh, I just want to keep touching it and, and playing around. I need to make something like this. This is incredible. Thank you so, so much. I just feel blessed by this group. It's one of the best groups that I've been in as far as uh, trading items back and forth. Um, the group is ran by Kelly Snow and the exchanges are just so fun. There's everything, uh, you know, you can just be a beginner and do random acts of kindness out to people. You can, um, you know, if you're working on your skills and you, and you want to trade things with people and be inspired, the wall of inspiration, um, trades are fun. There's beads of inspiration. If you want to, if you do beading, just all kinds of fun stuff. All right. I'm going to set that to the side here. And I'm going to take another drink. Thank you for your patience. I should be drinking water, but I'm drinking a soda. Okay, so for Tuesday Trash Rehash, I'm going to show you what we're working with, and then I'm going to dig in. So um, first, this is all... Today, I'm working with nothing but garbage or trash um, that would have originally gone in the bin. And um, I, I may use some distress spray to, you know, make the make the paper pieces uh, look different. But I'll let you know if we do that and and we'll see that process. These uh, little bits are just the tiniest pieces of lace that that are off of, you know, if I'm trimming something um, that that maybe wouldn't be used. This was, there was a flower here and these are the little leaves. Um, so we may use that. This is a little tiny piece of that uh, book spine that I used in one of my previous videos. Um, some more little, little pieces. These two pieces of trim came off of uh, items that I was gifted by other people. So these don't really have a home. Um, they're not, I mean, I wouldn't consider these trash per se, uh, but they're, you know, um, they're wrapping that someone gave me that I maybe didn't have in my stash. So I'm going to count those as uh, headed towards the bin, but we're saving. Now I've got, um, these are just a bunch of, bunch of vintage buttons. There's some new ones in here too. Um, at the bottom are some wood ones that I was gifted uh, by somebody. But we're going to try to use some of the vintage buttons that maybe would have headed towards the bin had they fall, fallen off of a shirt or something. So we'll be using some of those today. Let me set those aside. I still have I still have feathers on my desk from, from the other project. I told you guys those feathers get everywhere. So let me just go through my pile of stuff and then we'll we will look into it here um, and pick some items to craft with. So I was um, doing some clean out and I found um, this is a graduation notice from uh, when my husband's son was graduating high school. Uh, we had some leftovers, so I thought like. You know, an image like this with this tree, um, you could use something like this or even this strip of of gold there. Um, it's kind of a, the school colors are black and orange. So, um, you know, there's pieces of this that could definitely be used. I have a piece of junk mail with some really cool design and pattern on it. Um, these are also from the graduation. These are little graduation stickers that you would put on the back of the envelope where you seal it. I was thinking, you know, if you went and these are old and we're not going to use them. They're from 2020. But if you glued a piece of paper over top of the circle, you just put glue in, in the outside of the circle and glue something on it. 
you could peel those off and kind of make your own stickers. So those those were kind of inspiring. Have some more um, graduation envelopes. That was the piece of a bag that I had been using as the bottom where I was spraying and distressing some things. This is a um, this is an envelope. Uh, my husband had gifted me some flowers, but it has, um, you know, it's an old one. I kept the card inside, but it had these flowers here in this green pattern. So I am going to, um, because it has my, my work address on it, I'm going to go ahead and take that part off. So we'll just, we'll just save this piece. Um, I had all of these items from some tea uh, that that I had some stash tea, Tazo tea, or Tazo, I'm not sure how to say it. So we've got all these packaging and then the little um, papers from the tea bag that you actually at, actually dip there, some, some little uh, different ones. So I grabbed those. I just kind of want to show you some of the trash that, that can be rethought. Even this, I'm not going to do anything with this today, but I wanted to show you this is this is the box that my husband's coffee comes in and you could cut out these little donuts and use them as embellishments. <laughs> they are so cute. Um, they're all different colors. So you would get a whole variety. Something like that is a really smart, um, smart idea to repurpose. All right. What else do I have here? Um, this is just a Bath and Body Works. Um, I was thinking, you know, even if you just took a circle punch and got some of this pattern on here, um, even this part of the candle, this top one, that's a cool pattern. Um, anything in here. That, I mean, these are just, these are really fun um, project pieces that you can pull out of the bin. Um, I have a guest check that my friend sent me. I, yesterday I did a video uh, that had the blue uh, Bayou collage paper on it. My friend Angela, uh, she had sent this. We, you know, this would typically uh, go in the bin to recycle, but I think we can preserve some of this. I have all of these. Um, these are vintage and they're just stamps that had been pulled off of envelopes. Uh, little pieces. I mean, these are the start of a collage. Uh, that's a whole envelope right there. But this is definitely a start of a, a little embellishment or collage. Um, I'm sorry, embellishment or cluster. So I pulled those out. This was a piece of tissue wrapping paper that my friend Angela had sent me in one of her goodie packages. I'll set that to the side. These were some uh, popper or cracker um, New Year's Eve poppers from England that my that my stepmom had sent me recently. So we may use some of those. I have a birthday card. This is a super vintage birthday card, but look, it has these little perfect size uh, squares to cut out to start an embellishment uh, cluster. I have a couple pieces of paper. These were for from a Harry and David. Um, these were wrapped around the pears that were in the package. My stepmom had sent me these, so we may use some of those. This was around one of those um, orange chocolates you get at Christmas. They're in they're a little uh, orange, and you break the chocolate open, the wedges. Some more uh, packaging. We have an old uh, newspaper. Um, I'm not. I think this came maybe from my friend Angela, but I can't, re I couldn't remember on this one, but it's got all kinds of, of stuff in it. I was thinking that this font was really fun, so I'm not sure uh, what we'll use out of that exactly, but we have that. Some ledger paper that my friend Angela gifted me. This is a really sturdy one, so I can, I can use that as a base or an addition. Um, a damask paper bag. This was um, had some goodies in it that, from my craft store, I think. Uh, these were for my friend Angela. Some little wallpaper samples. Um, just leftover pieces of paper, basically. And you can cut out anything in here and use them to add color to an embellishment. Um, I have this little packaging that was sent by my stepmom, Susie. And this is just, uh, you know, it goes around 
like a piece of vegetable or fruit. Um, so it's just like a, a netting. So I thought that would give some cool texture. And then I had this pattern uh, that I got as a freebie from an estate sale. Uh, they were liquidating everything, so I just was throwing stuff in a bag. But this is all just little little bits that's already been used and cut into pieces. So, you know, that's something that might have head, headed towards the bin that we're going to give rescue to. All right, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started. We're already 20 minutes in and I haven't even made anything yet. So we're going to uh, get started. The idea today, I was going to... Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make some... I need some small embellishments or clusters. I need things that are maybe like one inch by one inch. So we're just gonna we're just gonna craft something today. Um, let me see. All right. Just kind of thinking what I want to do to get started here. What do I want for my my base item? I think I'm just going to cut into this. Let's see. And I'm just going to kind of hurry this along. We're just going to do what we can to make some things really fast. This is a way, if you are a beginner and you have zero craft supplies at all, this is a great way to get started. Now this has lines for me, so I can literally just cut along these lines and and I've already got the base going for for my little embellishment and let's I have enough here to do two of these so we'll do um, this one I'll make kind of into a little rectangle since it's got some words around it and I have to trim it a little shorter than the other I'm not worried about being perfect um, you know I'm, I'm moving fast this is just a, a quick way to get something done so um, I'm going to look over here and see, uh, maybe we can put some of this netting in. I'm just going to cut myself a little strip of netting. Let's see. It's actually really hard to see against the, the white of my desk. So I don't want to cut myself, so I'm going to move slower here on this. We'll get a little piece for each of these. Maybe... Um, Maybe a little piece of, of lace can go on there. Let's find a different one for this. Okay, there. Um, this ledger paper has some really fun purple uh, writing in it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tear at this and we're gonna, we'll get a little, little one for that. And that, and I'm going to ink around those edges here in a minute. My other little scrap I'll throw over here in my scrap bin. Um, let's see, I think this is a lighter color. Let's go with the tea, uh, the tea dye distress ink here and see what that looks like. It's more of a peach color. Just gives that hue of the paper kind of being older, which this paper already is, but since we tore it, um, you know, the original edging isn't there. We're just going to create our edging. And I'm just going to take that little piece off. All right. I kind of keep my tea dye, my walnut stain and vintage photo are all out here on my desk almost all the time. So, all right. And I'm just gonna get my, my glue out. I'm gonna be working today with uh, my art glitter glue and my Fabri-Tac uh, as the two glues that I'll be using as I go along here. And I'm just gonna start putting some of this together. This is so easy and so quick and you do not need to be any kind of expert crafter to do this. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Fabri-Tac over here and put some of this lace down. 
and I'm going to now this might have trouble sticking so I'm gonna find a small piece I think I'm gonna bring in some of this gold um, gold paper so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be sticking down my little netting and I'm not spreading it out too much um, because I don't want it to pull back together. So if I, the more I stretch it, the more uh, pressure it's going to have and want to pull it, pull itself back together. So I'm going to stick my my foil over top of it and just kind of hold that in place there. Oh, the foil's sticking really good to that fabric tack, so I don't even have to hold that. See, we've got our our netting kind of sticking out there. Wonderful. All right, let's get, I'm gonna put my pin back in my art glitter glue and we'll get a little, little lace on this one. And we'll get another torn piece of foil. This foil is really cool. And this is, was a really fun addition to this. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so hoarse right now. I I woke up and I wasn't hoarse at all. I probably just need to drink some water, I guess. Okay. Let's spread this. Sorry if this netting is hard to see. It's You guys are probably seeing it a little better than I am because it's got that little bit of shine on it that it's picking up. But, uh, all right. Let's get that down there. I, this worked out really good. This foil is just sticking to that fabric tack so nicely, but it spread that uh, netting out there for me, which is awesome. And let's see. Let's look for a little button. Now, these are going in a journal, so I, I do want a somewhat, you know, flat button. Um, these ones are kind of nice. Let's see. that I have in here that might be I'm looking for flat now that one's got a back on it so that one's not going to work another thing let's see could just be a simple you know but I do like these ornate ones I wonder if I can um, clip that off of there I have let me see I have my little wire snips here. I'm going to see where did that one go. I'm just going to test to see if I can bear with me here. Oh, well, that went half. Okay, so that works. It just went half across the room. So we won't be using uh, that particular one, but at least we know it can be done. Let's see, do we want... Silver or gold? It has that gold foiling, so I feel like we need something. Oh, that's a pretty one. We'll use that. What else? We have a, that one. Gosh, this is the hardest part. What about a gray? Okay, I like the gray. Now, something else you can do. Uh, I'm not going to do it today, but you can definitely... Um, Put a piece of thread through your button to give it um, to give it the little bit of a tie there. If you want, um, you know, a little bit more of an element, I probably should be using hot glue for this, to be honest. But I didn't plug in my hot glue gun, and I don't want to take up extra time digging it out. So here we go. <laughs> okay, well let's set those aside. Actually. You know what? Let me just look and see what happens when I... Okay, not, nothing really. Okay, I might distress those edges with a darker color later, but my button's moving and I don't want that. So we're just going to let those two rest up there. What's next? Let's see. I want to use some of this bag. <laughs> Just kind of picking through to see 
Ooh, maybe we'll put those two together. Do we have... I wonder if we can just use, like, this image would be nice. I'm just going to cut along the, the rope here. And I can even, I think I'm going to trim it off. And I'm even going to go further. I really want these to be small. I've been lately reaching for something small and kind of struggling uh, to find that. So these, okay, let's see. The yellow even goes with that red a little bit, so I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. We're going to cut the butterfly off just a tad. Okay. Let me get these little pieces in my shred. Okay, I need something that's sturdy for a base. What do we have? What if I just use some of this? Okay, so I'm, I'm actually I think I'm going to tear this. So this is just some of my graduation uh, leftover pieces. It's just really nice paper. I mean, we pay a lot for these things, right? Why not use them? So I'm just going to tear out my, this is going to be my base because it's, it's firmer. Um, and I'm just, I think I'm going to tear around this a little. I am losing some of the picture and I'm okay with that. Um, I mostly just want a portion of some, I want some interest. Let's save that one because we're going to do that next. Or I can just tear it out now. And that way we can kind of ink around these edges and give it some oomph, some pizzazz. Okay, so those are our two little items there. And just tear into this bag a little bit. If I save the bottom part of the bag, I can use it as like a pocket. So that's that's going to be fun. Okay, I'm going to use my walnut stain on this one because it's got that black, so it's going to, you know, it'll be a little darker. This bag is super thin, so it's a little difficult to uh, distress the edges on, but, and I don't, yeah, this isn't going to pick up at all, so uh, we'll just grab one of our items here and get that. Oh, the walnut stain really gives like a burnt edge look, like it looks like, you know, you've got a little piece that was preserved from, from a fire or something. <laughs> so it's kind of a cool look. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do our other piece here too. Okay, let me get another little piece of this. snips of this. Uh, it's kind. Of, it's like an eyelash trim. So we'll just, this will give us a little texture for each of those. And I'm just going to tear a strip off of this to work with. Starting to rain really heavy here. I, 
can hear it coming down. Now the bad bad news about that is I've got a leaking skylight in my craft room. I almost had a craft catastrophe. Um, luckily, I'm up here in my studio enough. Um, I have a above our garage. I have a crafting studio that's a, basically a studio apartment with a bathroom and a shower and everything, and uh, it's got slanted ceilings and on each side of the slant is a skylight one of my skylights is leaking and it's not good news i happen to have some super rare never heard of metal roof it's a metal shingle interlocking roof and um apparently nobody can work on it so we had to contact the county see if a permit was pulled ask our neighbors uh, we finally figured out, um, like two weeks into the leak, who put the roof on and were able to get a hold of them because we had roofing companies come out and they look at it and they leave. Like they, they don't even, they just get out of their car and look at it and they leave and say, yeah, we can't do that. So um, it's been a challenging, I'm going to get a different part of my bag. Here. It's been a challenge, let's say. So I've got a huge piece of plastic hanging from the window, um, funneling the leaking water into a bucket <laughs> into my craft room. It's uh, anyway, the company is coming out on Monday to have a look at it. Uh, I don't know when it will be fixed, but I'm kind of waiting for that to take place a few people have asked to see you know some of my storage ideas and and how I keep things in my craft room how I organize and um, I don't want to do that until until I have um, that leak fixed because I like I said there's a huge piece of plastic um, just hanging out in my room like a little ghost hanging from the from the ceiling so it'll get done eventually it's being taken care of it's just been a pain all right just getting some of that eyelash trim down and then we'll come in with this piece oops these little, these little tails of uh, Fabri-Tac are no joke. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. It's worse than hot glue. Worse than hot glue. I think I have, let me put the button back in here, or the pin back in my glue for a minute. I think I have some really cute tiny red buttons that I'm going to use to put a little something on there but I think it needs I think I had some super tiny pieces of lace in here there's one and there's one I think it needs just a little something underneath of it together too. I have a I have a feather on my fabric tack from yesterday. Oh boy. Gosh, I'm really batting a thousand over here just knocking everything down and feathers sticking to my thumb. piece of bag that we originally tore off. I feel like I, I hate to do it, but I'm going to take this butterfly off. 
I just, I don't want the blue in there. I think the yellow is enough. actually looks like an eyelash <laughs> it looks like a, a set of fake eyelashes there'd be something you could use in your crafting uh, that might go in the bin after you've used your your eyelashes up and you uh, if you're a fake eyelash wearer um, you know if they get to the point where you're not going to use them anymore maybe you have some real eyelash <laughs> I've never seen that before you'd sure be the first See if I want to use a different type of button in this one. Let's see. There's some wood ones at the bottom that I was gifted that are really pretty. That one's kind of fun. Some little yellow ones. Oh, decisions. Oh, that's cute. I like that with the polka dots. Let's do that. A fun one. Okay, we want our little bit of lace. I'm where these are all intersecting is where I'm choosing to put my button because um, I kind of want that covered just a little bit. So we'll get some glue on there. Perfect. Okay, that's fun. Oh. All these little glue strings, I tell you, they're everywhere. I feel like a little little spider is like weaving a web right over my workspace. Okay. What's next? Let's see. What about these wallpapers are really, um, really stiff. So let's... Let's see if we can use one of these to make a little embellishment. Maybe this little flower here. I'm going to use my walnut stain on this. Oh, that, that looks great, the walnut stain on this. Um, wallpaper, it just absorbs it. It's wonderful. This is going to be bigger than an inch, but I'm okay with that. Still fairly small. I just, I was making something yesterday um, on my sample book Sunday, and my pocket ended up smaller than I had anticipated it being, and I feel like I was really struggling to find a small embellishment, and I, you know, I've got little tiny butterflies and stuff, but I wanted something with layers, something with with a little something extra. So let's bring in some of this trim on this one. Let's snip ourselves two little pieces of that. I wonder if we could also use these little leaves from a, it, this was left over from a different project. Uh, but we can definitely cut some of this out. Okay. So now, I wonder if we can, we're going to use some of this for sure. I've got an idea that I think will work. So I want that. 
of getting the curved edge because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little ruffle. So we'll get those. And I feel like I want a like a page, something with... Oh, these match really good though. Okay, we're going to use some of our little popper crackers, whatever they're... I'm not really sure what they're called. But we're going to use some of that. It's beautiful. So, okay. Get those uh, white edges inked up here. I think I'm actually going to tear this down a little bit more to just this little. covers up um, the tear marks. That's all I'm doing. Okay, let's make ourselves a little faux rose on here. What we're going to do, I am going to just make myself kind of a little, a little fan. Just uh, doing an accordion fold and kind of moving it a little bit to the side as I go. Now, I have the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, which I'm going to use in this case, but if you didn't have this, I mean, you could you could just glue it, just kind of thumb through here and tack each little spot down. This I just find a little easier. So I'm tacking that. This is the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. It's just got little quarter inch staples and it's fabulous. Let's make another one of those. And I'm in no way trying to be perfect at this. Um, just folding it. The paper kind of wants to do its own thing, and I'm just going to let it. All right. So we've got those. It's pretty. Now we've got our flower. We can get another. Okay. I think we've got a start here. I'm just going to get my glue and we're going to do it. So I'm going to put a little fabric tack where this one's going. Get that bottom layer really good and stuck down. fun using the things that people have sent me because it's not something I picked myself so it's a little more challenging um, but it's a lot of fun put my other little leaf on there now this might actually be too thin for what we're going to use this for. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And let's see. I feel like that should have gone under. I don't know. Do I want that as like a? Maybe I don't need this, or maybe it can go. Okay, I think I got it. I think I'm going to do it this way. We're just going to tack it down and kind of just a, the way that it's going in this kind of half moon um, shape. We'll just let it do what it wants to do. And that'll come out the bottom side of our... Okay, let me get this leaf on here.
same thing. I'm going to put a little of this green eyelash trim around the bottom. Just shaping it, you know, it's curving that way anyway, but uh, just giving it a little bit of shape. All right. I think to give my little flowers here a little bit of stability, I am going to... Um, I'm just looking for something thicker, something that has a little bit of thickness to it. Maybe um, so I had some. I did a little circle punch out of. Um, I just had this little circle punch sitting on my desk, and I did it out of that purple envelope. Um, and I'm gonna see if this will just. I'm gonna try. I think this one's too big, but I'm going to try it anyway, because I'm just fiddling around here to see, you know, what I can get that would work on the back of these. I'm looking for just a little bit of stability because it's going up on so many layers. Let me save these two just in case I need those. Let's oh yeah, we can do that. We can, that'll work. Okay. Let me get a little glue on here. I mean, this is thin too, but it's um, it's thicker than this paper, so um, it'll just give it a better base for sitting on top of our project. Let me make sure this one's gonna work. Yeah, I think I think we can make that work. We're going to make it work. And I think we're going to wrap up after this. We're headed towards an hour, and I don't, I don't want to have super long videos. I want people to enjoy it and not feel like, you know, that they're sitting there forever. There's so many crafters out there. Spread the wealth and not, uh, <laughs> not sit here and, and hog your attention. Just kidding. All right. And let's get these glued on. I am just going to use my Fabri-Tac. This one's bigger, so I'm going to use my bigger one on here. And I'm going to position this so that it's right along the green. Got a leaf sticking out and this little flare sticking out. And then on this one, we'll do the same thing. Then, I feel like I need a button on there or something. I need something. Wonder. Hmm. I don't know if I have anything that small. Maybe. I feel like I need like a really small gold. Oh, I have two right here. What are these? Ooh, it was like I, it was like I set it and it manifested right at, at the right time. It was perfect timing. These are perfect. They're ornate uh, little. They've got little grooves in them and perfect for this kind of ornate. Uh, little embellishment. Perfect. Love it. 
turned out great. Okay. So we've got three um, different styles, six total embellishments, and I think that this turned out really well. I mean, for something that was going to go in the bin, you've now got some really fun little um, add-ons for, you know, you've got a you've got a project, um, you know, and you've got your your book, and maybe you just need a little corner flare. Like it just adds so much. Just something little like that so this was really fun all right you guys well um i want to remind you that i'm doing my 1000 subscriber giveaway i'm not at a thousand subscribers yet but it's happening so fast i feel like i needed to do that so um i think it's uh it was posted on the 19th of february it says 1k subscriber giveaway on the on the picture and um I'm just going to be uh, selecting uh, 10 winners out of that. So your chances are really high. Uh, it's not just one winner. It's going to be 10. So please go watch that video. You do need to be a subscriber to the channel. Um, so I'd love for you to subscribe. Um, if you liked this video, hit the like button. That helps more people get to see my content. And comment and tell me, uh, you know, what's, what's your favorite trash item? What do you look at and think crafty things? because I'd like to know more. Um, I was just looking at every time my dog gets groomed, there's a, he, he comes home in a little cut of bandana. Sometimes I throw those away. It's just little material. I could totally make little fabric clusters out of um, broken pieces of jewelry or packaging. These are great ideas to get started on something like this. You don't need, I mean, the only craft supplies you really need are like scissors and glue. Um, even a stapler would work in most cases. So find what you have and make it work. And um, thank you guys so much for joining me over and over. I appreciate your being a subscriber and joining in on my journey. I'll see you on the next video. We will be finishing up our blue journal with the closure and the cover of that. And I'm very excited for that to come to an end and we'll do a final flip through and everything. It'll be great. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.